So over here you can see that I got some clips on my timeline and I can go around and add in markers over here on the timeline right here. So this is uh, what uh, can be done right here. But if I were to go around and let's say select out a clip and delete out the clip, you can see that the marker is still there. So if I were to go around and let's say ripple delete this, so I'm just going to go around over here and ripple delete, you can see that the markers stay exactly where they are. But if you want the markers to ripple delete along the uh, clips on the timeline, let me just press Ctrl Z a few times. I want to enable out this option called ripple markers. So once this is active, what happens is that if I were to, let's say, for example, move out the clips, the markers are attached out to those particular clips right here. So if I were to go around and uh, use the ripple delete tool, you can see that the markers move along now. So you can see that there's the marker right here. But if I were to use the ripple delete tool right here, the marker is gone as well. So the markers get associated with respective clips. As you can see right here, you can ripple delete out but if you don't want that anymore then you can uh, remove out the ripple markers right here select it out and delete it and they are not related anymore so that is how you can use the ripple marker option inside of shortcut so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe